Okay, so today I'm finally going to talk about uh, some aspects of the Motorhead Fast Eddie Clark solo. I think I'm going to let my hair grow. I don't know. I mean, it's going to look kind of like this. It's going to look awkward. I don't know, dude. I'm not sure yet. So anyway, uh, I'm going to play this song, America. We'll pick it up right uh, from the middle, okay? And then we'll go all the way to the end. And then I'm going to show you just uh, just an introduction of like how to get into this headspace of Fast Eddie Clark solos. So this is the part one, I guess. And then I'll probably spew a vocal out here and there just to keep it going because it's just so cool to do. I'm just having my morning hot chocolate and it's like 2.30. Uh, I might make a mistake here and there. So, uh, and then the solo is not gonna be exactly the same, obviously. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take little chunks of a solo and I'm gonna improvise around it. But the, sort of the cornerstones of the solo will sort of be there, okay? So here we go, America, from the middle of the song to the solo and towards the end. <laughs> So that's the thing, but I want you to focus not on the middle solo because I kind of fucked up there, but uh, towards the end, this part right here. So that last part right there, I'm just going to focus on getting that right today. So the two things, the cornerstone of a Fast Clark solo, what did you get out of that solo? Think for 10 seconds. What did you get out of that solo? What are the two things that I think that is the most important thing? I'll give you a few seconds. So the first thing, obviously, is the bend, right? So this comes from a long tradition of blues. This comes from like, you know, B.B. Uh, King. This comes from people like, uh, you know, all the blues players that sort of uh, came before Hendrix. So what Hendrix did was that he sort of uh, took what all the blues players did, right? So I would say first is Chuck Berry. There's a lot of Chuck Berry in here. So we'll get to all that later. And then after Hendrix, we have a lot of these people. Fasted Clark is influenced by Hendrix. So a lot of that stuff, it starts off with the bend. You hear the bend all over here, right? So the bend is really kind of that bluesy playing. And then what you want to do is you want to bend it a whole step, right? So one fret is half step, so it's two frets is a whole step, right? So you want to you want to play this note here. So if you half-ass it, it's only going to be half step. So you got to bend it. And I can go into that later. Because you can do, a, like I said, a BB King. So no one can get the bend like him. Everybody has their own individual bend. So you got to bend, and then you got to pull off that last section of the uh, song, okay? So those are the two basic things. That's all you've got to do. Pull off is, you know, right? 
So if you have a bend and a pull off, it's really the cornerstone of all Facity Clark solos, basically all solos really, from that era, from the 70s era, from the anything that's inspired by blues. Pull-offs are basically everywhere, every solo, right? So you want to go, right? So there's that bend, so let me play it all at once. You have to get into that groove. Don't half-ass it by going and then be like, oh, that's stupid. That's so simple. It's not actually simple. These are just the building blocks. So that's the thing. What you want to do is you want to just get into that groove and be like, and just really, it should come off as if you're just in that groove and you're playing it. See, the first I kind of did it wrong. Take your time and then just kind of be in there. If you want to play solos like Fast City Clark, bends and pull ups. Okay? So if you put all that together, you'll get that solo in the middle that I play or attempted to play with my own kind of you know flavors in there. So anyway, those are the two things. So I would just sit there and just master this. Yeah, I guess we'll talk about scales and stuff later. But that's pretty much it. Alright guys, I'll see you later.